I've partnered with SaveOurWater.com to show you how I turned this yard from a weedy hillside to a beautiful, drought-tolerant pollinator garden using WaterWise California native plants. We'll explore the many benefits of planting these beautiful, resilient plants and how they will transform your outdoor space and help you save your water. Native plants are adapted to their environment. So here in California, that means native plants not only survive, but thrive in our environment with low water, which makes them a great choice for water-conscious gardening. Drought-tolerant gardens require minimal irrigation, helping you spend less time watering, save money, and spend more time enjoying your garden. Native plants are not only beautiful, but play a crucial role in supporting local wildlife and biodiversity. These plants attract a diverse array of pollinators, such as bees, butterflies, and birds, creating a vibrant ecosystem in your own backyard. Not to mention the added value and aesthetic appeal to your property. With unique colors, shapes, textures, and fragrances, native plants make a stunning and distinctive landscape that stands out in any neighborhood. One thing you might notice is that my yard is on a slope. This makes it more difficult to maintain a traditional yard because what happens is anytime it rains, it becomes a muddy, eroding mess. By planting native plants, I actually retain more soil. The plants that I chose are incredibly well adapted to this type of landscape with roots that prevent erosion and help with overall soil health. The first step I took in transforming this garden was clearing out all the weeds and non-native plants. As my garden is on a slope, I created a step to access the plants and give my plants a flat area to be planted in. The fun part was choosing which plants I wanted to include. There are great resources out there to help you decide which plants are right for you. SaveOurWater.com has a great plant guide, as well as other resources to get you started on your garden transformation journey. I also found help at my local nursery, which has a California native plant section. The staff helped me choose plants that would provide a variety of colors, textures, flowers, and fragrances throughout the year. I chose seeds from native plants that would emerge every spring. I installed drip irrigation lines for each new plant, as many of these plants do need regular water until they become established. Thanks to the rain in the winter months, we usually turn the irrigation off. The final step was to add mulch to the top of the soil. Mulch is amazing. It helps retain the water that is in the soil so that when I water, the water goes right to the plant. Mulch also helps retain the soil's health. My city has a mulch program that will deliver mulch straight to my door twice a year for free. Many cities across the state have similar programs or pickup locations. And here it is. This garden has matured into a wonderful space. It's now late spring. We have not had the irrigation on since November and it is absolutely flourishing. Some of my favorite plants are Cleveland sage, which smells amazing, has grown huge and attracts many hummingbirds and native bumblebees, yarrow in various colors, manzanita, which has the most beautiful bark and has lovely delicate white flowers in the winter. Ceanothus, this is a Yankee point that will make a lovely ground cover here with shiny dark leaves and beautiful blue flowers in early spring. Red flowering buckwheat, which attracts butterflies and has actually thrown off many volunteers and can be found throughout the garden. Turning this hillside into a drought tolerant native plant garden has really been a sustainable and beautiful way to transform this outdoor space. For more information and water saving tips, including California native style garden ideas, please visit saveourwater.com. You can also follow Save Our Water on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube.